Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is still your girl with Fima Miriam. Thank you for being part of my channel. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments, your opinions, your thoughts. Thank you for everything. I appreciate a lot. Yes, I really appreciate. And if today is the first time that you are seeing my channel, please do me the honor of subscribing to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. So guys, today we'll be having a talk on a topic, yes. So as of recent or maybe about some weeks ago, I read online, mostly on Facebook, that love is not enough to keep a relationship or a marriage. And so many people, they gave their thoughts, their opinions, their, you know, their, they say their mind. So I said, okay, let me just bring it here on my channel so that we can talk about that. So what do you think? Do you think that love is enough to keep a relationship or marriage happy and moving well? What do you think? <clears throat> well, I think I should start for myself. Yes. Well, to me, I would say that love is enough. But the issue here is that my own definition of love might be different from your own definition of love. So what is my own definition of love? To me, I would say that love is kind. Love is trusting someone that is so dear to you. Love is being there for people that you care about or for someone that you care about. Love is loving someone just as I love myself, being there for the person. When I, when, you, when I love someone or when you love someone, you don't hurt them. You don't do things that they dislike. You don't do things that is going to cause harm or make them to share tears. You don't do anything that you know that, ah, if I do this thing to this person, this person is going to be sad. This person is not going to like it. So to me, that is what love is all about. Taking someone the way you take yourself. I love myself. So if I say that I love you, I will love you the same way that I will love myself. I will not do something that is going to hurt you. I'm not going to do something that is going to make you to feel bad. I can't insult you. I can't fight you. I can't embarrass you outside and all that. So I think when you love someone, you can't do something that is going to cause harm to them. You cannot shit on them. You cannot abuse them. You cannot, you know, fight them in public or in private. You cannot hurt them. You can't say hurtful words to them. And, you know, you can't tell me that you love me and you will not be there for me. You will not know how the I am of the matter is that love nowadays is not what love is actually meant to be. Because when you love someone, it's meant to be true and it's meant to be genuine. But nowadays, people, just, people love people because of the benefit that comes with that. What am I going to benefit? What am I going to get? This one, that one. So that is the mindset of nowadays love. But that is not actually the, the real meaning of love. Because when you love someone, you, don't, you will not be bothered about what you benefit or what you will not benefit. Because know that the person that you love and love you back in the term is going to be there as well, is going to treat you good, is going to, you know, is going to be part of you and is going to do things that will please you as well. And that is what love is to me. So guys, what I'm saying in essence is that true love is more than enough to keep a relationship of marriage together. Yes, for me, is enough because when you love someone unconditionally you cannot do anything that is going to hurt them that is going to make them to share tears that is going to make them to start thinking ha why did i end up with this person you cannot do things that you know that will make them not to to have sleepless nights you can't do things that make them to start questioning whether they 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 make the right choice your, your, your thought towards them should be of good. 
what should I do to please this person, to make her happy and all that? Because when you love someone unconditionally, you don't care whether she's from a poor background or whether it's from a, is not doing well or whether it's this one, that one, that one, no. Your own focus is to do what? Is what should I do to improve this person? What should I do to improve our relationship? What should I do to improve our marriage? What should I do to make this person happy? You should be what should I do? So what should I do? So that things will go well between both of us. So that we both will always be happy. So that we both will always succeed. That is what love is all about. Love is not meant to be conditional. You have to be tall before I can marry you. You have to be fair. You must be from a wedding family. You must be a wedding man before I marry you. That is a conditional love. And this kind of love is what will not keep a marriage. This kind of love is what will not keep a relationship. When your love is conditional, you wake up one day and say that, ah, I beg, let's go away. Bye. Bye. That is what. Because the love that you both have for each other is a conditional love. But when it's unconditional love, you find that you will find it so hard to even stay a day without that person. You will always be willing. You always have that, you know, always, always have it in mind to reach out to this person, know how she's doing, you know whether his day is going on well, know what he's doing and all that. You'll be doing things that will make the person happy. So to me, I would say that love is enough. I don't know how about you, but for me, love is enough. So please, I would like to hear your own opinion on that. Do you think that love is enough to keep a relationship or marriage? Do you think so? Do you have a different opinion? Please, can you drop yours in the comment section, please? What do you think? I'll be here waiting for your comments. Thank you for subscribing to my channel once again. So we are going to call it a day now. Please subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please. Thank you.